What if you were the only person in the whole world who didn't have superpowers? Everyone else has powers. Your mom, your dad, your grandmother, even your creepy little sister. Everyone but you. This is Noah's reality. He's the unsuperhero of our story. The only normal, rational person in a world obsessed with powers and capes and super suits and secret identities. So you can imagine that Noah's pretty sick of superheroes. Right, but he wasn't always. No, when he was younger, like most kids, he wanted to be a superhero. He dreamed of being super. Until his seventh birthday, when a meteorite hit the Earth, giving everyone in the world superpowers. Unfortunately, his powers bounced off of his aluminum foil superhero costume onto his baby sister. Now, for everyone but Noah, they were like characters in a superhero movie. Everyone else can be thrown through buildings and smashed and blown up and run over. And then they walk away without a scratch. Right, because they're indestructible. But not Noah. He can break. He can feel pain. Noah is mortal. And he's the only innocent civilian, which means he's the only person the heroes of the world can actually save. So every day he's stalked by heroes. They're just waiting for him to trip or fall or get hit by a bus or fall off a cliff. And if he isn't careful, he'll set off a chain reaction of heroes trying to save him. Which makes the obsessed villains want to stop the heroes. And that causes the heroes to fight the villains. <laughs> and so on and so on and so on. Superworld is a powder keg. Everyone's powers are just getting stronger and stronger. They're getting more and more obsessed with playing heroes versus villains. And that's why Noah longs for the old world, for his world. He wants so desperately to bring it back, but what can he do? He's powerless. He doesn't have what everybody else has. But what if his lack of power is his superpower? What if the only powerless person in the world is the one who can save it? 